Hello everyone, welcome to another video of my channel. My name is Marshall3498 and today's motor vlog I'd like to talk about is a topic normally is my channel, motorcycle lady. And that topic is what is it like owning two motorcycles? I've owned two bikes now, my 2016 Yamaha FJR 1300. And now this bike I've had for right at a month now, my 2022 KLR 650 Traveler Edition. And I can tell you, it's been fun riding two bikes. Uh, now that gas prices are at an all-time high, from even the highest I've seen that I can remember at roughly in my area, they're around, as of the time of recording this, 450 a gallon, give or take, uh, a dime either direction. Um, this bike, however, is much better on fuel economy, even on its first tank that I put in it. Um, you know I've now filled the bike up once so I've basically ran two tanks to the bike and I've seen a comment on my one of my latest videos about fuel mileage of this uh, if you're wondering on the first tank uh, when I put fuel in it right now the bike's getting right at 52 of course that's gonna depend on how you ride it where you live blah 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 um, how far you run it down it may even affect it maybe whatever octane gas you put in it it may make it better or stay the same i don't know not really done enough um gas much says i know that but this bike is getting right at 52. Uh, i did see a comment on one of my videos some guy said he's getting 58 out of his uh new third gen klr which is cool that's 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 a pretty good feel mod that's impressive um my fjr on the other hand, however, even by, you know, by doing it by the trip meter and um, how much gas I put in it the old fashioned way and not relying on the computer's trip computer, the bike's getting anywhere from 41 to 43 miles a gallon, which is okay. It's not as bad as R1 gas mileage or MT10, but that's not great for a motorcycle fuel mileage wise. Um, that's okay, I guess. It could be worse, but, um, you know, 6.7 gallon tank uh, it only takes me to ride at 180, 190 miles till the low fuel light comes on, which, you know, on the FJR and like a lot of Japanese bikes, the low fuel light is very conservative. When I put gas in it, and with the low fuel light on, it still has almost two gallons of gas left in it by what I put in the pump versus what the tank actually holds. But whatever. Um, so there's that. But you know, um, it's decent. Uh, gas mileage, like I said, but it's not great. Um, this bike, however, I've heard reports of the third gen KLR getting at least 250 uh, without running out, probably more like a safe range. It's about 225. Um, and the first tank, I'll, I'll put like 190 miles on the tank, and it was still at like two bars, like it is now. Um, this tank's got 161 on it. And like a lot of fuel gauge on a lot of stuff and even automobiles, it disappears to, well, this bike and my FJR both, it goes to from completely full to half a tank at like 100 miles, which is dumb, but whatever. It is what it is. But, uh, you know, uh, the only thing I can say that's weird about having two bikes, uh, I'm fortunate enough that I keep both of my bikes in the garage and in my car um, but um, where I have just a oversized one car garage it is a little bit of a kind of a you know if I want to ride one bike um, both bikes are in line beside my car so there's one bike in the front one bike in the back and whatever bike I decide I end up want to ride in that one day uh, always have to move one, pull one all the way out of the garage, take that one out, move to the side, put the other one back in the front. But it's not a, it's not a deal breaker, but it's just more work to be able to ride one versus just pick the one in the back. And you know, I like riding both bikes. Both bikes are fun. Both bikes have their, you know, plus and minuses. Uh, both bikes have their purposes, I guess. And you know, it's it's fun to have two bikes. It's a good problem to have. Uh, but it is a little bit of a hassle, you know, you got two bikes in shirt, two bikes to keep gas in, two bikes to maintain, um, two bikes to, uh, uh, 
you know, keep tags on, uh, oil changes, tires. Uh, of course, I'm not running any of that yet, but you know, um, but it does seem like uh, here lately where I've been riding both bikes a lot because it's summer riding season. I ride one bike, have fun on it one day or whatever. If I go ride the other bike the next day, it seems like I get one ride out of each bike or maybe ride two rides at each bike and then I have to put gas in one of them and then like a day later or a couple days later when I get to ride again I want to ride the other one and of course I forgot that one had gas in it and I already moved it and I'm like uh but whatever um it's not too big of a deal but both bikes do have um you know uh there's certain characteristics that do they ride like versus other like this bike to me um in the you know like 350 miles I put on it this bike feels like driving, for lack of a better term, and to give it layman's terms and anybody's not ridden a new Gen 3 KLR, um, to me it feels like riding around in a kind of agricultural uh, four-wheel drive lifted pickup with big kind of knobby-ish tires on it. Um, and, you know, while it, it, it rides on the road just fine and handles pretty good, um, it is a bit, it is a bit, definitely a lot different than my FJR, you know, this bike kind of, you know, like I said, it's agricultural, um, it vibrates a little, it handles decently, but not the greatest, and then I get used to this bike in the riding position, and then I get on my FJR, and it, FJR is very smooth and, and fast, and handles real well, and the brakes work amazing, and all that stuff, and everything on this bike works okay but nothing is like will blow you out of the water but it's still fun it's not like i don't enjoy riding the bike because i know with this bike you know it's it's main thing that it's good at it is everything but not great at one thing and like i said i i know that about this bike i knew that going in um but this bike it's just it's a lot of fun um and it's it's easier it's easier to ride to me on back roads and my FJR because my FJR you know has that knife edge real sharp handling uh, lots of throttle response and this bike everything is just it's all it's a lot more muted down and a lot different but different in a good way because it's so much lighter it's easy to flick around little back road curves at 45 50 miles an hour and especially even the slower tighter stuff at you know 25 or 30 where the FGR you know shows its weight this thing it doesn't really care um, as long as you don't try to push it too hard it doesn't really complain what speed you're going around a curve um, but you know it, this, this bike is for what it is it, it's pretty impressive you know for the price uh, you know you can buy basically not out the door but the bike cost itself you can basically buy two of these almost what you can buy one standard Africa twin or Honda I mean not Honda um, or Triumph Rally 900 um, both of those bikes you know they're mid 14s mid 15s um, this bike just the bike itself for taxes dealer prep or any of that are half that so um, that says something you know is it as fancy and do all this and do all that well no it's just a single cylinder bike but it's still really a lot of fun to ride and does ride really well and that's the hardest thing it's me is like when i ride this bike i'm fine when i go back to my fjr is what it takes to get used to because the, the fjr the handling is very precise and very um just you know super flickable and even for a big bike really moves around uh really well and that's what's hard to me is going from this to the FJR and then I'm like whoa something with power and really good handling and it it's so uh you know great at all that that you have to you know kind of tame it down and check yourself a little bit but uh it's been a lot of fun uh I've enjoyed riding both bikes and I continue uh to you know enjoy riding both of them both of them are a blast like I said both of them have their pluses and minuses um you know the FJR is really good at just crushing down miles and really putting a lot of, you know, and, and a lot of comfort and all that. But the FJR is still easy to ride. It's just, it's a different type of bike, you know. The FJR is like a, you know, 
a five or six year old Corvette is really fast really handles good not the super best in anything but compared to this it is a totally different animal so to speak but if you have any questions about either bikes I own um, or any of that kind of stuff or want to leave a comment down below please do so I'll try to answer to them the best I can but on that guys ride safe and have fun and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell on that guys ride safe we'll see you in the next one see ya